Okay, is this on already? Yep, they can hear be. me. Yeah. Okay. Good to go. Awesome. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ida Guerra, and I'm with the Miami Association. Hello. I've been with them for about, I've uh, been here for about six months. I come from the Orlando and Tampa area. I used to train for the MLS there for about two years. So I was able to really dive into a lot of the products. And I came over to South Florida, and I'm doing it here, and I'm super excited. Um, so for today, we're going to be going over Remind. So has anyone here in this room, have you logged in? Have you seen a little bit of it? So this will be like from scratch. Okay, perfect. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to log in. So I'm going to log into the Miami Gateway. And let's see, there's an error message. And then we're just going to look for our icon. So you're not with Miami, whichever board, just make sure you go to your dashboard and you want to look for that Remind icon. Okay, so for me, we're going to go ahead and click right here so we can enter. So all you have to do is click on Continue to Remind and you should be ready to go. Okay. So are we here? Perfect. So with just a little background of Remind, so what we love about this product mostly is the ability to focus in your farm area and really dig and find out what's going on with these potential sellers, right? So instead of sending these mailing labels out to your entire neighborhood, right, and you're spending all this money doing it individually, this allows you to really understand who's in that particular location, who's been there for however long. This system allows you to really find out that information. What makes Remind stand out is the sales score. There's an ability where you can choose your map, choose an area, and then you can ask who has a low, who has a medium, or who has a high sales score. And the way that it determines the sell score is that it can tell if the seller, let's say the owner of the property has been living there for more than seven years. It tells you if somebody just recently died. If someone, if maybe their children or kids are about, you know, they're 18 years old, they're about to move out. So that would give them a high sell score. Um, if they just got a divorce. So if we have a home and somebody just got a divorce, this system just, they can tell and it can read all that information. So that's where that sales score determines based on that. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. The first thing you'll notice in the first page is your daily, the daily tab. These are all called cards. So essentially what this is, is that you can add any information you want. So if you want to know property notifications, so if I click right here where it says add new card, I can click on the drop down and I can see, I can look at all my listings. I can look at the market goals. I can look at my saved searches. So it kind of works like, you know, when you're working in Matrix, you have your home page. This is essentially your home page with Remind. Okay. So then the main area that we're going to be focusing on is right here where it says search. So right here, we want to click where it, the word search. And then this is where you're going to spend most of your time. So you'll notice that it's a map. And this is where you want to go ahead and move the map and go to the area that you want to concentrate and focus on. Okay. So we're going to look for an example. So we're going to go up to a little bit area where we're at and we'll focus right here in this area. Okay. So what you do is at the top, these are all the characteristics. So you can either search for an address, a zip code, a school, or even a neighborhood. Right here on the left side, there's a search tab. So when you click there, it'll take you right here to the map. Okay? So then once we're here, 
we want to now look for the area we're going to be focusing on in farming. You want to zoom in, and of course, you can put an address, a zip code, and it'll take you right to that area. So you don't even have to search and drag the map so much. But then right here, you can ask, you can put property value, home equity, sales score, you can do all of that. So what I'm going to do is just clear all filters so we can start from the beginning. Okay, so now the whole purpose is once you have your area selected, you see to the right right here, there's like these little icons. You want to make, for example, you can, you know, do a polygon, which allows you to create your own shape. You can do a rectangle or a circle. So if, for example, I use a rectangle and let's say that I want this area to be my focus area. Okay. So that's going to show me all the information in that particular area. Okay. So now that we've chosen here, now we're good here with how to choose the property and the area we want to focus on. So now once we're here, you see to the left side, you have all these options to click. So now that I have the focus area of mine, you have the first one, which is property value. So when I click on property value, I can tell the system I only want to look for properties that have a value of 500,000 to 750. You tell the system what information and what category you wanna look at. So we're gonna leave it here. We can say minimum of 350, and then we can do 350 to 512. We'll leave it no max. And I can put apply, okay? So then you can see that some of those other properties that don't match, they won't be there. It'll automatically just disappear. So then I can come back and then the next option right here to the left side is your home equity. So now I'm telling the system, great, I'm looking in this area at only the properties that are value at this much, but now I wanna look at properties that have a home equity of more than 200,000. You put the limit as to how much you want. So as a minimum, I'm just going to put for today, as an example, we'll put 200000 okay? So now I'm only looking at everything that has $200,000 of equity or more. So now I click apply. So you'll notice that little by little, that number will be going down, and then we want to focus lastly on the main properties. Then the third one here is ownership time. So now we can tell the system, great, we're looking at properties that are you know home valued a property value of more than five hundred thousand? They these properties also have an equity of more than two hundred thousand, and now I want to tell the system that I only want to see properties where the owner has lived there for more than let's say seven years, right? Because that's kind of like when they want to start searching for something else, downsizing. But you tell the system what you're looking for. So as a minimum, I'm going to put seven years and up. So now I'm only looking at properties where the owner has lived there for more than seven years. So seven years are up, okay? So now the next one, which is the one that I spoke about in the beginning is your sales score. So that's where I can click on the sales score and I can tell the system the low, medium, or high. So what Remind has done, they've invested a lot of money in being able to get and all this information from customers you know, what they're doing, if there's someone divorced, like we stated in the beginning, if, if somebody just died in that location. So it tells you if they have a low, medium, or high score. Now I can click here and I can say, I only want to look at high. But you also have to understand that this is just a system telling you numbers. You know, we never know if someone from one day to another wants to, you know, buy, you know, sell their home out of nowhere. So you can essentially focus on medium and high but it doesn't hurt to also focus on the low sometimes because you just never know. And you can always just send them your information and that's okay. This also tells you, for example, if someone is looking, they can tell if that owner of the property is searching in Zillow. So that sales score also determines, okay, this sales score, you know, that customer right here, they're either looking online, they're searching because every time we use our cell phones, every time we use our laptops, you know that that all saves in the system. So the system can get that, grab that, and it can tell you. I won't tell you specifically, but you can see it in the system. You'll later on see that once I click on in an individual listing, 
you can also see the owner's information. And then you also have a sales score per owner. So what I've noticed sometimes is that I'll click on a household and the husband will have a low sales score, but the wife has a high sales score. So what does that tell you? If the wife has a high sales score versus the husband. Yeah, well, maybe she's the one looking, right? So he's not looking online, but she's probably looking, she's probably searching, and maybe, and well, we, we don't know that much, right? <laughs> we don't know that much. But you'll see that sometimes you'll see that the partners in the home, they might have a different sales score as well. All right, so then I'm going to go for now. Let's just do medium. Let's just see how much I get if I do the medium. So you see now I have... I have about nine listings, okay? So then as I scroll down, I have, I can click on absentee. That's gonna tell you if the owner lives there or if they're renting out the property. What's nice is that it tells you the, if the owner's if their occupant, it also tells you absentee in state. So it'll tell you there's a renter and the, the owner of the home lives in the state. So they live in Florida. Or it can tell you absentee out of state. So it'll tell you there's a, you know, there's someone renting, but the owner of the property lives in a different state. So it'll tell you that as well. So then you have another one like flood zone. You can see flood zone in the area. You can also choose the building type. Okay. So if I click on building type, let's say that you only want to focus on single family homes or you only want to focus on condos. You can tell the system that. Then you have, for example, land use. Okay. So if it's commercial, residential, then you have this one that's called Airbnb. So look what happens when I click on Airbnb. It tells me and it gives me all the Airbnbs around the area. So this can help you a lot because you might have an investor looking for an area where they can do this, right? Where they can list Airbnb. So you can come in the system and see, okay, this area right here, you can tell that there's a lot of Airbnbs that's a good potential for maybe one of the investors. But in the contrary, you might have a customer where I don't want to live anywhere around listings like that or properties where they have Airbnbs, right? So, but what's nice too is that if I click on the actual number, so if I click on this 25, it, it even gives you the picture of the Airbnb and some details as well. Crazy, right? No, and, and there's more. Like, it's crazy how much this system gives you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So some of these, and, and I'll talk about it too at the end, there's, you'll see that you won't have all the options because there is an upgrade to be able to look at all the information here. Let me, uh, let me see what you have. Oh, for all of them, which one do you have? And are you part of? Should have, at least for showing, you should have. Oh, that's an upgrade. Yeah. Are you with Miami? Yeah. Let me see yours. You have what? The property upgrade. Should you? And that one works as well. Mm -hmm. I have to find out that I can later on send you an email is how much the upgrade is for Fort Lauderdale. I know for us it's a little different, but just to find out how much the upgrade is, the more you see the system, the value of it, because after we're done with all this information, you can also send the mainly label out. So you can do all of this in one system. So if you look at everything and the benefits of it, it might be something that you might want to upgrade in and, um, and take advantage of these, of these benefits. So then from here, the next one, you can look at mortgage rates. You can look at the mortgage age as well. Um, you have the ability to see the last sale price. Crazy. Then you also have your distress deals. Okay. So you can see list pendants, notice of default, notice of foreclosure sale. 
crazy. And then you can also notice of a trustee sale. So you can also specify that and it'll show you which listings have that depending on the color. Um, and then the last one on the list is your cash buyers. So if I click on the cash buyers, it'll show you a dollar sign on top of all the listings where the home was bought in cash. So it gives you a lot of information here. Okay, so now we're just gonna stay here, focus on the area that we had just selected in the beginning. Okay, so as you notice at the top, as you're selecting all of your criteria, you can see on the top everything that you've selected. And anytime you wanna change it or you wanna remove it, you just click on the X and then it'll just remove it from the list. And we can also be more specific by adding that characteristics. So if I wanted to look for a, a specific status of a home, I can do that. I can also look for list price, specific list price, list date, beds, baths, and then you can click on advance and look for more options as well. But you're, you're able to really hone down in a specific area. Okay? So now are we all here in this section? So then now that we've added all the criteria on the left side, now you're gonna to notice to the right, all the listings. So all those homes that we have listed here, now we can see it to the right, okay? So if I scroll down, I can see all the listings that have been selected. So now what I can do is I can either select all, okay? And I can also from here, just select an individual one. So I'm gonna click on this medium one. This one has a medium cell score, so I wanna look into it. So just click on one of the icons on the listings so that we can expand, and now you can see the information you get per individual listing. So I've clicked on that one specific home, the 527 Northeast 10th Avenue. This one has a medium cell score. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bottom. You'll see that at the top, you're able to Look at the information, public records, your valuation, schools, demographics, and then property history. So as I scroll down, you're able to see all the information. You're able to see the street, where the listing is at, where it is on the map. I can easily click on the satellite button. So now I can really see the location and I can zoom in and really dig in to see how the area and the surrounding area looks. And I can also expand it so I can really see the map if I wanted to. It gives you the dimensions of the lot size. So that's really nice. You don't even have to dig for it. It's right here where you can see it. So as I scroll down, you're gonna see all the information, right? So the key stats, the, it's occupied right now. As I scroll down, it gives you the structure information, the lot information, flood zone, the active mortgage, and then with the active mortgage, it gives you your original amount, it gives you the rate, the type, and then it gives you an estimated monthly payment. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, it actually gives you that information here. Sorry, I yes. Oh, so no, it's, this is not just for the Miami board, both for Lauderdale, Miami, you guys have Remind. Now, if you want the upgrade, just depending on which board you are, the upgrade might be different pricing, but that's something that I can look into and, you know, speak with you. And then I, we can send out an email letting everyone know how much the upgrade is for each individual one. Okay. But you both, both boards should have the Remind option. Okay, so as I scroll down, we have building features as well. Parking, utilities, your net equity. And then this is now where we can go individually into valuation, schools, demographics, and so on. So now if I click on the valuation, gives you your information here, and it gives you the sources of where that, that valuation is coming from. So you see the source, the estimated value, the range, and then the date. Okay, so this one has a price of 618724 And it gives you a range as well. And then it also gives you the rental estimate. 
So as I scroll down, it is also gives you the list of schools. So this one doesn't necessarily give you the assigned schools. It just gives you the schools around the area. If you wanted to look at assigned schools, you can probably go to IMAP, greater schools, or you know, district information. But you can at least tell your customer what's around the area, and then it gives you the grades and ratio and et cetera. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. So now we're gonna go to the next one, which is demographics. So we're gonna click on the little drop down right here to the right. And now it gives you your college, the children, the percentage of, of uh, homeowners that have children, your average income, the average age, and then the average household. Any questions so far? <laughs> so then as I scroll down, it also gives you your property history. So when I go to the property history, right here, it gives you all the documents, the transactions, mortgage information, tax, and then it also gives you your assessments. And then if you wanna expand it, you can click on see all, and then you can go back all the previous years and look at that as well. Okay. And then the fun part that a lot of our agents love is your associated people. So now we're gonna click on the last option, which is associated people, and click on the drop down. Okay, so as I go below to the associated people, look at the information that the system gives you. So what's the first thing that you notice when I click on this? Phone numbers and emails, okay? Phone numbers and emails. It also gives you if there's a particular number that's, that's in the DNC, the do not call list, okay? And then this one, it's funny because this one's just like the one I was telling you. Look at how James has a medium buy score, but then you have Cheryl that she has a low sales score. So there's, you know, they're, they're looking at what maybe James is looking at, what he's Googling, anything that he's doing that provided us with that medium sales score. Okay. Then it also gives you all the associated people. The associated people are everyone that lives in the household that has mailing going there. Okay, so that's how they determine who lives in the home. Nice, right? And, I'm, and a lot of the agents have told me, especially the ones that have prepared for the upgrade, that the emails there are accurate and they have been able to, to use the emails as well. The upgrade, yes, to be able to get the phone numbers and emails, it is um, an upgrade as well. Okay, so what's also nice is that I can also click in the, in the, on the individual person, the, the owner, I can click on their name. So once I click on their name, it also provides me associated homes that are with for them. So for example, James, and it shows you all the associated properties to James. So if he's owned previously, if he's rented, like whatever homes that he's had mailing going to, that he's been associated to, it'll tell you right here. So literally, if somebody tells me they're an agent and they have Remind, you guys can see all this information, it's insane. Okay, so then you can also add this individual person to your contacts so that you can add their information. So if let's say that this person had a high sales score, medium score, you can add them to your contacts. So then later on, I can go to contacts tab, you see right here? And I'll have everyone there that I really want to pursue, that I really want to send emails out to, or, you know, try to get their information. But I can also do that individually, add to contacts, and now he'll be right here in my contact list. Because this is probably a listing that I'm very interested in, it's in my farming area, and I can really target this individual owner. So do you guys like it so far? Good, right? All right. So we're going to go back. So I'm going to click on the back button. So also, instead of having to scroll down and look at this individual information, at the top, you'll notice that it's here. So if I wanted to go straight to property history, 
I can click there and it takes me right to that information. So I don't have to scroll all the way down. From the top bar, I can click on what information I wanna see and it takes me directly there. Okay, so then from here, I can add this property to my cart. So if I wanted to add this to my cart so I can later on send a mailing label out to, right? So now all these properties that I'm looking at and I can say, okay, I'm interested in these five properties and I wanna later on send a mailing label out to, you can add them individually to your cart. So I'm gonna add this one to my cart and you'll see that once I add it to my cart and I can say, I can name it something specific so I know later on what this is for. So I can say mailings to, and you can say maybe the specific subdivision that you're targeting and you can name it that subdivision's name. So mailings to, right now we're just doing, we're looking at Fort Lauderdale, so I can just write Fort Lauderdale. But you can put a specific zip code that you're targeting, a specific subdivision, a specific city. So depending where you're targeting, you can type it and put that in. So new cart, add property, and then you're good to go. Okay. So then once we do that, you can also share it from here. So if I wanted to share this particular property, I can do so. And remember, Remind also, you can download it and it's an app. So in an app, you can download and your customers can also download this, this app. And you can send all this information over to them. You can communicate. You can do all this through Remind. If it's something that you're interested in, maybe upgrading, and it's something that you want to use, you'll see that you can use it for your customers as well. You can also print this page out, and then you can also go over to the CMA and do a quick CMA through the system as well. Any questions with the individual listing? Good, gives you a lot of information that you can use as well. So now I'm gonna go back to the search where we were. And then once we're in our search area, What's nice about it too is that once you have a specific location, I'm gonna go back up north and then choose a location there as well. So I'm gonna go back to where we were at. So here I can also select all, okay? So now all nine have been selected, okay? And then from here, I can either save the search so that I can go later on and keep using the save search or I can add them to my cart. Okay, so now that I have this specific neighborhood I'm working on, I know that everyone in this neighborhood has a home value of more than 500,000. They have home equity more than 200,000. They have a medium or high sales score. So you've individually already chosen what you want. I can choose those properties, add them to my cart, and then later on that cart, I can go ahead and send mailing labels out to. I can go ahead and send emails out to. I can have them individually separated. So now I'm gonna add all of them to my cart. Okay, so then there you can go ahead and add a cart name. So I'm just put testing. Okay. And then add nine properties. So now that we have them all added to the cart, why isn't it adding? Put the cart name, testing. Okay. Let me just make sure that it's working. So I went to the cart. I wanna make sure that they added the nine. Okay, they added them. Okay, perfect. So then once you add them to the cart, so we've selected all of them, I can now go from here, add them to the cart, and now I can go back to my second tab on the left. So you see right here, you can go over to carts, and then all those listings that you specifically wanna work on because you've already chosen the criteria, I can now see them all in one location. This is from here where I can go ahead and export this information. So it'll export it out to a specific listing on Excel sheet. I can then from here also send the mailing, the mailing labels out to, all from that one location. You're doing all this in one program. So for example, if I, let's say I wanna do a send mailers, I now choose the ones, it's not, 
There you go. Why is it removing it? It's supposed to stay with the boxes and then you're supposed to choose. Are you guys able to see the boxes next to it? Right? And like a I gotta have this following me. Are you able to see the little boxes next to it? If you go to carts. Yeah, it's kind of like disappearing. If I click on it, it like shows up, you see? Okay, so by clicking on it now, I've, and now I'm telling the system that I'm choosing these three individual locations and that's where I wanna go ahead and send the mailers out to. So then you name your campaign and then you're gonna to continue to rocket print and mail. That's the program that's integrated with Remind so that you can go ahead and send the mailing labels out. You pay through here. All of it is done through the system. Testing, continue to rocket. So once I type the name of the campaign, now it takes you directly to your direct mail portal. So from here, you can get started. It tells you how much they're going to charge. So, and it's very easy, it tells you step by step. You choose your design, personalize it, order and mail, and then you deliver. And remember, what's key is that you're not just delivering, right? Just to everyone in the entire neighborhood, you've chosen your specific locations because they have the, that sales score that you're looking for. They usually have an, I think they do have an ability to have your own design that you, you can upload it. Um, and then they also have designs as well, but you can create one. I know for sure you can create your own design within the program. Yes, it allows you, mm -hmm. it allows you to create your own design. Correct. No, it, when you choose a design, you can choose from the designs that they have, or you can create your own from there. And then personalizing it is just, customizing it and adding whatever additional information you want to add. No, you have this option here, no matter if you pay for it or not. Yeah, because this is something that you pay individually. So once you get to this page, you decide how it goes out and what design you want. Each design is also a different price. So that all changes in the terms. But you do have this, whichever, it doesn't matter if you don't have the upgrade. But what's nice about it is just how easy and how everything is just in one location. You don't have to use three, four different programs to get this done. It's all in one location. Any questions so far? Good. All right, so now we're gonna go back to it. Go back to Remind. So then again, from here, you can also customize this. You can share your card. Again, there's just so much you can do individually every time. Then you have your contacts. So now we're gonna go to the left side and we wanna click on the contacts tab. So from here, this is where you have, you see that specific name that I have here that I selected, remember James that I chose to add him to my contacts, he's now on my list. And from here, once I have all those owners that I really want to focus on, I can add them to a specific group. I can export this information and then have all this already in my Excel sheet and have them ready to go and do whatever I need to do with them. You do have the option right here as the engaged. Engage is once you have your customers. This is where you can add them so that they can join Remind and you can talk to them, you can send them listings, you can communicate with your contacts and all in one place. But what you wanna do is that you wanna come here where it says engage and you want to invite, all right? So then from here, and this is easier to do when you're using it on your app because you're able to invite them from your contact list, you don't have to individually do it here. So I would suggest to download the app if you are gonna use the program 
And then from here, you can add your contacts from your cell phone. Okay? So then once you do that, you can search for them and then you'll be communicating with your customers through the app. You'll be sending them the information and then all of that will be done in one place. Okay, so now you have the chat option where you're able to also communicate with other agents. So it allows you to add information, add agents, and you can send each other information all in one location as well. Okay, so then you have your information at the bottom. You see when I click on my name, that's where I can see that I have the pro plan. So that's why you'll notice that once you upgrade all your information and what your plan has, will show you right there when you tap on your name. Any other questions with Remind? What's the favorite part so far? Well, the upgrade, yeah. But anything that, do you see the benefit of upgrading or having the information? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so access to the names, access to the emails, having all the, the entire process in one location. So we can definitely look into how much it is to upgrade and... Really? Okay. One ninety nine? That that sounds a little high. Really? You, you get um you get just the basic. You don't have all the options you don't have the upgrade. Oh, it shows you there. Okay, so for you guys it's one ninety nine a month. Yeah. I, I think our, ours is a little different. I know he has it here. Oh, you are too? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's it's Palm Beach. Yeah. Okay, so yes, yeah, so for Dana Collins. Yes, yeah, so she loves everything about it. And yes, to upgrade, if you're with Fort Lauderdale, it's $1.99 a month. And then how much is it for the year? So it's about $2,000 to upgrade for the entire year if you want to do it in the, in, as, you know, in the year. I want to find out with him. I, I believe with us was 99 but I just want to check now because yours changed. The Fort Lauderdale one changed as well. So I just want to check on ours as well. Yeah, ours is the same. So for Miami, it's $1.99 a month. And then, so it's the same for both. $1.99 a month for the pro and then almost $2,000 for, for the year. Now, currently, what are you guys using right now? What are you guys using right now to get this information we to do the mailing labels how are you guys doing do mailing labels imap okay have you guys done any type of mailing yet yeah okay i was using um i checked to see the upgrade yeah and it was not 199 a month uh, there's free oh they're asking for a free trial yeah so it is they don't offer the, the free trial. Yeah, I see the sad face. <laughs> yeah. And then search. And then also what I suggest too, you can also do a trial. So you can say, you know, let's you know, pay it for a month and see if it's something that I'm even gonna use. A lot of times we do pay for different programs 
and then we end up not using it or we don't like it. So maybe this is something that you can try and you, there's no contract, you're not obligated. So you can always just you know cancel at, you know, at any time as well. So you can try it out for a month if it's something that so someone asks how much it is per mailer. So for mailer, it just depends. Yes, I can tell you what's included with the upgrade. So without the upgrade, you're basically looking at the ownership time. You can see the sales score, right? Is that what you're seeing in yours? Mm-hmm. We're trying to figure out what you guys have for free. Okay, so you get, you get sell score, you get building. land use yeah you get airbnb you get mortgage age can you see cash buyers you get land use price last sale price mortgage age i mean you do get a lot. So really the ones that you're not getting is the property value and the home equity. You get cash buyers. And you also get cash buyers. So essentially it's not as bad because you're the only thing you're not getting is a property value, home equity, um, but the rest you are getting it for that. And then how much you pay per, per mailer, that just depends. So once it takes you to the separate site to do the mailings, that just depends on how much uh, mailings, uh, which design you chose, so that all depends on what you're choosing and then how much you'll pay. So once you, and the way that you can find that out is that once you have, for example, an item in the cart section, and then let's say that you want to create a mailing label, so I'm going to click on the mailing, but I want to send this one. I'm going to click on send mailers, type the name, and you're gonna click here where it says rocket print and mail. So when I go over to rocket print and mail, you'll notice like for example, right here is saying one piece from 65 cents, but it really just de determines on the quantity, uh, what type of product, they have postcards, they have letters, yellow letters, so they have different types. So depending on the one you choose, you can see that the price also changes. So it just really depends. And then also with the upgrade, that's when it gives you all the associated people and the phone number, the emails, which is really the part that I'm sure you guys want. How can you review again how to access email and phone numbers? Of course. Okay, so to be able to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go back to Remind, right? Once, okay. So when you're clicking on the search area, you can, if I wanted to know the emails or phone numbers of a specific address, I can do that. So I can put an address up here. I can put a zip code, school, whatever information I'm looking for. So does anyone have an address of maybe a potential customer? You might wanna know some of this information. Anyone has an address we can use as an example? No? Okay. So, Uh, what's the uh, 
I'm going to reach to this one right here, Elena. Okay. okay, so now it gives me that particular property. Okay. And then that's another thing you'll notice that sometimes it does take a little bit of time because it's grabbing so much information. So, yeah. So, right here, right? Is that the address, 825 Northeast? Perfect. So, we're going to click on it. So what happens is you go to the right side, you click on the property, and then from here, when you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the associated people, okay? So again, we went back to search. You can either type in the address. You can search the area that you want the phone numbers for. When you click on the property, and if I go back, you go back to the associated people. Okay, so I click on the back button. So again, when I'm looking at this right here to the right and you're clicking on that one location, it'll tell you the information. And I'll go back and do it. So it was a, hold on. Cause I wanna verify too, to see if they have the right information for, for her, A25. It's going a little slow, one second. A25. When I click on it, A little slow. Come on now. Okay, there we go. It should be coming right here to the right side. So I'm just going to wait for that. Okay, so we're going to click on the property you see to the right side. Okay, we're going to go down to associated people right here at the end, associated people. And then it tells you her information, and then the low sales score. Here, she's not showing any emails, it's just showing her phone number. Mm -hmm. No, because for when I click here on demographics, it's gonna show you this, the demographics in the area, correct. <laughs> and when did she just did she just buy it right now or no she's had it for five years yeah <laughs> is she still paying for it <laughs> Oh, yes, for sure. This is something, exactly, correct. Yeah, of course. Let's go. It does anything, yeah. So we can put it in. Okay, what's your address? D? Okay. And what's the name? Hmm. What's the city? Oh, D209. Hmm. Let me see if I just put that, the... Oh, they change it? Fourth Street. Cool. 
Oh, really? Oh, look, it came up like it came up with the numbers. And then it's a uh, perfect right here, Karen. Okay, let's look it up. Okay, so we're going to go down. Associated people. Hmm. Yeah, that one, that one doesn't have. Uh-huh. It just shows you. And that's probably what it, what it is. And you're both there, uh-huh, we gotta find that out. <laughs> yeah, I can look into that. Okay, any questions, anyone that's online? Do you guys have any questions? Do you have to upgrade to send the mailers? No, you don't have to upgrade to send the mailers. Anything else? And I'll, I'll get that example and send it to remind. Good? Okay, you're welcome. All right, thank you everyone, we're done. Um, just in case you have any questions, uh, you can email me at ida, I-D-A, at miamire.com. If you guys have any questions, um, maybe if you want me to go over something else with you, just let me know and then I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you.